-hmm. See, the thing is, a lot of times the, the high-tech stuff and the claims that you see about uh, cosmetic ingredients, those come from lab studies. Mm. And in a lab study, we can take a, a cell culture of human s skin cells. Right. And we can put ingredients on them directly on those those cultures, and we can see we can measure what the, what happens to the biochemistry. Is it producing more collagen, elastin? Is it oh. making the the skin firmer and mm -hmm. and having an effect like that? And we can show from a biochemical standpoint that it actually has that kind of effect. Now, that's a living skin cell, right? But the stuff on the top of your skin, these are all dead cells. This right. is your epidermis. And the epidermis, if you put uh, an ingredient on the epidermis, unlike what you'll read on the internet, mostly that's not going to get into your body at all. It's going to stay in the outer layers of your skin. Uh, when something absorbs in, like a lotion absorbs into your skin, it looks like it goes in, it doesn't really go into your body. The chemical stays in the outer layer of your skin called the epidermis, and it doesn't penetrate down to the dermis, which is where the actual skin cells are living, right? Okay. The living skin cells are in the dermis. And so even if an ingredient can be shown in a lab to have an effect, when you put that in a real product and on some real person's skin, it doesn't get to the spot where it has to get mm -hmm. to actually have an effect. And so really it just becomes a marketing thing and not an actual functional thing.